Hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for May 30th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more Virgos. Let's get it. Coming in with the King of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant, and the Three of Cups. <laughs> oh, Virgos, you guys might be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person is very, very angry at the moment. Somebody here might not be speaking to a to an air energy. Uh, they both are very, very angry. They're both very, very pissed off at the same time. It seems like whatever is going on, they just keep seeing that you're winning. And it just pisses them off every single time. Um, they may rightfully be receiving their vengeance for what it is that they may have been doing to you behind the scenes. Uh, regardless of this person is watching you, Virgos, with the Page of Swords. And it's like this person's watching you, but at the same time... They're kind of like falling in love with you too, Virgos. They like love watching you. They love, they love, somebody here loves watching you, whatever the case is. But it looks like divine and angels are stepping in onto this connection here as well. And God is also stepping in at the same time because these, this Gemini Libra Aquarius is very vengeful and they send out a lot of revenge out. So it's like nobody can beat this King of Swords in reverse it's like almost as if they got they got two people working against you or something like this virgos and they got somebody else behind the scenes to also be watching you and whatever the case is by the end of the day sweetie it looks like you guys are going to be just fine no matter what because it's like trials overcome it's like this person's like slowly falling in love with you every single time they watch you in some sort of way and you guys are healing yourselves with the three of cups the hangman you guys are di definitely div divination you guys are definitely a, of the divine virgos and you guys got an aries leo such as terius seeing that you are definitely somebody who takes care of themselves and protects themselves this person may have been attacking you <coughs> they may have been attacking you virgos to the high priest of seven of wands and the king of wands but this person sees that you're not the type of person to say anything about it. You are just simply protecting yourselves at all costs. And this person sees that with the King of Wands energy. These people here are very much so pissed off because they are going to be blocked by the time the full moon ends up coming in. And you guys are going to continue to prosper with the Nine of Cups. Somebody here, if they were doing spiritual tax Virgos on your on you, on your money, or on your business here, they put you, they they put a lot on you. You are the, you are the Nine of Cups. However, though. Because you guys are the Nine of Cups, these people here would have been maybe doing spiritual attacks on you, messing with your money, messing with your business. And they really had you kind of like fucked up in a way. But as I'm seeing here, Virgos, yes, you guys are feeling trapped in anxiety and stress and PTSD. But I want you guys to know that your money's coming back in for you with the Ace of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords. Divination is going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos, taking care of you, protecting you, giving you the guys clarity that you guys need. So that way you guys can figure out how it is that you guys are going to get out of the situation with the Ace of Pentacles, which you guys will rightfully be able to do so. Um, at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of fears, a lot of anxiety maybe during the new moon energy. So make sure you guys clean that up right away and don't allow any of this energy to hinder you in any way, Virgos, because right behind you is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You guys might be literally going to see an eagle or a hawk, Virgos. This is all divination. These are your ancestors. They're coming in to give you the clarity that you guys need because there's a lot of people around you who kind of want to see you on your downfall, right? And it's all, and it's like, you just want to live your life and be happy with the full card. Like, you guys are absolutely heartbroken and judgment's being called in and then these people are going to end up being feeling, feeling like very sad and very regretful with, for what it is that they've done to you because they're bothering you for no reason. They're bothering you because you guys are the high priestess or the hierophant. You guys are the ones that are highly intuitive and they keep trying and trying and trying and yeah, they mess you up and you guys fuck and you guys fall a few times here and there, but then you guys still get up at the end of the day. And these people are very miserable, they're very bitter, or they're about to become very miserable and very bitter, Virgos, for what they have done to you. But judgment's gonna be called on their ass, and they are gonna be suffering through a lot of pain with the ten of swords, uh, the moon. You guys got new beginnings coming towards you, and you guys got people who are coming in to love you and support you and help you guys out. 
These people tried to take away your will of fortune. They tried to take that away. They didn't want you to have success. They didn't want you to have luck. They didn't want you to have any of that. But that's coming back in for you regardless. Your, the, your Ten of Cups is coming in. Your Six of Pentacles is coming in. That's going to be karma, Virgos. For everything that they've done to you, for them trying to mess with your money, trying to mess with your business, anything that has to do with finances, if they were messing that up for you, I want you guys to know that you guys are going to be getting that back with the Six of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. And you guys are going to be back in your power again, coming with the Queen of Wands energy. So he's like, yeah. Yeah, you got me all the way fucked up but at the end of the day i'm still going to be kicking it no matter what queen of wands and these people are continuously looking at you like your competition with the four with the five of wands and you guys are still protecting yourselves or you guys are very much so protected with the four of pentacles to the strength card it could have also been a leo a sagittarius a gemini a taurus a cancer a pisces who has been doing all this shit to you guys, Virgos and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? All right. So at the end of the day, you guys are gonna, you guys are back to being in your power again. You guys are back to being strong again. You guys are absolutely fine. You're protected. These people look at you like your competition at the same time, which is really fucked up because from what I'm seeing with the high priestess to the hangmen, you guys are divination. You guys are healing. You guys have a lot to bring into this world, and you guys are sending it a lot of love and a lot of healing energy. However it is that you guys choose to do it, you guys are still doing it. But when, one thing that you don't tolerate is people stepping on your feet, disrespecting you. So for that, you have to put up your boundaries. You have to do what you need to do to protect yourself. And there's a king of wands who's finally seeing why it is that you're defending yourself the way that you're defending yourself. Because a lot of people are targeting you specifically and you are, have had enough. You're tired. You've had enough. You're sick and tired of this stupid shit from all or, from everywhere. People just, they look at you Virgos and they're just like, yeah, that's the one we want to we <laughs> for whatever the fuck for what it's crazy energy but at the end of the day their misery their misery they're they're miserable they're they're going to feel guilty they're going to feel horrible for what it is that they've done to you because these people have broken your heart so many times when all you wanted to do is just live your life and be happy with the full card that's all you wanted that's all you wanted for yourself so you guys are doing what you guys need to do to heal yourselves with the three of cups and and for whatever reason, this King of Wands is seeing that you're doing the best you can to heal yourself. This person sees that you're divination or they see that you're an earth angel, a light worker. But one thing is though, Virgos, even if you are an earth angel or a high priestess or a light worker, uh, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, this person sees that you are going to defend yourself. It's not, there's, there's no, oh, come try me. No, if you come try me, I'm going to defend myself, Seven of Wands. Because you are divination, you don't you don't go out of your way to hurt people. But a lot of people have been hurting you with the seven of wands. You've been getting attacked left, right, and center. And you don't say nothing about it. You stay silent about it with the high priestess. Because you already know what's going to come and happen to them if they even tried you in that way. So for that, you keep your hands clean. You're not going to get your hands dirty for people who don't. You're never going to get your hands dirty, Virgo, for somebody like this. And there's a king of wands here who's going to be finally seeing it. Uh, at the same time, at the bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hermit. You guys have been sitting in Hermit for a very long time, focusing on yourselves. There could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who wants to come towards you guys, Virgo's energy shifted. There's a Virgo here, a Scorpio here too, that you stopped talking to back when, Virgos. Excuse me. This person is looking back at the past, and they're remembering how much fun they had with you. They're remembering... All the great times they had with you, right? And now this person wants to come back towards you, hoping that you guys can work on the relationship. A lot of you guys are moving forward and you guys are going to continue to move on with your life. And that's going to be karmic justice. For the rest of the you guys, Virgos, this person's going to be reaching back out to you again. But the one thing that you guys need to understand is in this situation here, are you guys going to continue to put the work in the situation between you and this person? Or are you guys going to learn to love yourselves enough that this person has to also reciprocate your energy. Otherwise, how are you going to know when love is going to be coming for you? If you guys are going to continuously putting in 150, 100, and you guys are only getting back 30%. That's not love. That's not love. That's why a lot of you guys are single right now. Because you guys have done way too much in the past for people who don't deserve it. They don't deserve it, Virgos. So you have to start thinking about how you are happy. What you need to do to take care of yourself and if you're able to offer this person a pentacle and they want to and they want to offer you emotional fulfillment and emotional support and affection and love are you able to offer them the same thing or vice versa or is it going to be 
50, 100. Okay, that's why with the three of pentacles, are you guys going to be the ones doing all the work while this person sits on the sideline, just watching you take control of the situation while you guys are watch while they're watching you do all the work? That's not fair. Regardless of so this person is going to be trying to come back towards you guys. Anyways, I do see a reunion coming in for you guys, which you guys are going to be very happy about it. There's a Virgo here who's looking back at how the relationship ended and they know that you deserve justice for what had happened. Somebody here is going to be receiving a message or a letter at the same time, Virgos. All right. <clears throat> yeah, there's like no communication between you and this person. So at the end of, oh my God, at the end of May, which is May 30th, May 31st. Yeah, and then the next seven days, so going into June. So between now and June 7th, you guys may be receiving this uh, message from them, all right? <sighs> you guys are, it's time for you guys to make a decision now for those, all right? You guys have gone through a lot of losses, a lot of burden too. A lot of you guys are really confused on why this relationship had even ended, but you guys are standing in your power with the Magician card. You guys know exactly how to take care of yourselves and manifest what it is that you guys want. Yes, it's bringing you guys a lot of burdens. However, though, you have all the tools in your hands to manifest everything that you guys want. So your decision is going to be, am I just going to sit and be like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going through a lot. Meanwhile, all you have to do is drop those wands and start manifesting what it is that your heart desires, all right? Someone's coming in fast for communication, Virgos. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's coming in fast. They want to speak to you. Maybe they even want to tell you how they miss you and how they have love for you. But regardless, though, they do want to see you again. A lot of you guys have manifested this person back just by your own thoughts. You guys have manifested this person back, Virgos. This person misses you a whole, whole lot, though. A whole, whole lot. There's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn who also misses you very much from the past. This person wants to come back in communicate with you they miss the love that you gave them they miss the way that you were so loving and nurturing too and they just miss that because they haven't had that in a really long time this person is going through a lot of obstacles in their life and they just had no idea but they are going to be getting the confidence that they need to reach out to you and contact you again this person did a lot of sneaky shit behind your back and this person knows that they're kicking themselves in the ass for what it is that they that you've done you guys are the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles amazing virgos this person you guys have you guys have really leveled up by a hundred a lot of you guys manifested your business your money you guys are really about to be rich or you guys are already getting into money already virgos coming with the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles a lot of you guys got an online thing here going on too with the world card it could be absolutely anything Regardless, though, this person knows that they did something wrong behind your back and they was juggling you with somebody else. I want you guys to know that they are getting their karma for that, Virgos. They're getting their karma for that because they should never have treated you like that. They should never have put you in a position where you, they, they couldn't have figured out who in the world they wanted to actually be with, which caused them a lot of stress and, and a lot of turmoil, though. But this person knows that you are the one that they needed to be with. This person thought that grass is greener on the other side with the two of wands. But now that they're looking at things at a different perspective, it's time for them to come back in and do the work. They're hoping, Virgos, that you're going to be taking them back. This person's not going to let you go this time. They're going to fight for the connection because they know that they love you the most. They love you the most. They want to come back for you, Virgos. A lot of you guys... <laughs> So this person, you guys might have been waiting for this person, but a lot of you guys have ready to move on with your life. <sighs> but this person's coming in and they're and they're changing their energy up. Whatever it was that they was before, they're not that person now. Now it's a divine, it's a literally a div, divine intervention is what they're saying, Virgos. Meaning that when you guys were in separation between you and this person, especially if it was a twin flame connection, you had a lot of growing up to do. And also, they had a lot of growing up to do. It wouldn't have made sense for you to be damaged and then for them to be also damaged as well. Two damaged people, it doesn't work out, Virgos, all right? That's why separation is normally needed between two people who are actually meant to be with each other. How are you guys going to fix yourselves when you, when you have your own traumas and they have their own traumas? It's never going to work. For that, it has to turn into separation. You do the work on yourself. How are you going to learn to love yourself without you always being the one putting in the 150 while they're only putting half-assed shit? No, it needs to be reciprocated. And this is where a lot of people are wondering, why am I still single? Why am I... Because... <laughs> How come you keep giving, 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 and you're getting nothing back in return? So for that, focus on self-love and self-care and vice versa. They need to get out of their ego and focus on learning how to love properly and taking care of themselves. 
So that way when you guys can reunite with each other, you guys can actually be at the exact same frequency, which it looks like is going to be coming in for you guys. Hi, the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the Emperor, all right? There could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, man, Virgos. Somebody here is becoming obsessed with you guys. Virgos, this is a very toxic person, too. Or they're becoming, or they're going to be very much so obsessed with you guys. This person knows that they, you guys are going to be leaving them out in the cold. There could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Capricorn. <laughs> Oh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who wants to come back for you. But you guys are leaving this person out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. You guys don't really want nothing to do with this person anymore because of the fact that they made you feel worthless. They didn't make you feel worthy enough. So for that, when they come back, they're hoping that you're not going to reject them and they are going to be contacting you, Virgo. This person really disturbed your whole entire world with the Tower card. They had you all the way fucked up. When this person ghosted you, when this person ran off on you, when this person did whatever it is that they did behind your back to go be running away to somebody else and then they fucked, they fucked up the whole connection and then they end up in some shit that they didn't even want to end up in, now they're all now they feeling it and, and you guys have to feel it too. You guys have to feel that tower. You, if there's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's coming in for you guys, Virgos, you guys are staying silent from this person. You guys are walking away with yourselves, like saying, I don't fuck this. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna let God and the angels deal with it. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to be going through another tower in my life. I don't have time to be going through another relationship with the exact same thing, person who didn't appreciate me, who didn't give me what it is that I needed at the time. But meanwhile, I was able to give them everything and more, right? Now this person wants to come back in. This person might work for the government. They want to reach back in for you guys, Virgos. And hoping that you guys are going to invest in the connection, but you guys are kind of scared to take that leap of faith, I guess you can say, and to kind of like look back and turn back again after you guys have already walked away from it. They are going to find a way to come in and communicate here with you, Virgos. This person's looking back at old text messages or photos of yourselves, to, of, the, of you guys too. But even if they reach back out to you, Virgos, you guys are kind of like guarded up now. I do see that this person's going to come back and fight for the connection, but I don't know if you guys are going to be able to forgive them for all the misery, the calamity, the stress, the sleepless nights that this person has put you through. Thanks, cuties. Bye.